Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Glad you could attend. Welcome to the Final Cut. And today we are going to take a look at The Conjuring, brought to us by James Wan. Yes, the man who brought us Insidious and Saw. He tells, he brings us the story written by Chad Hayes and Carrie Hayes, who uh, are telling us the story of the Warrens, Ed and Lorraine, who are demonologists, ghost hunters. They help cleanse people of evil from their house and take care of the ghosts, and also help people figure out exactly what's going creak and bump in the night. Sometimes it's not ghosts or demons. Well, they come uh, across a case, the Perron family, who have moved into this big, huge house, but there are previous occupants there that don't like them being there and are doing mean and nasty things to them and their kids. So Lorraine and Ed Warren show up at the house and help cleanse this house or try to help cleanse this house of the evil that exists there. Ah, let me tell you about The Conjuring. Now, many of the things I did like about it uh, was the fact that it was a creepy film. Okay, for uh, a big widescreen film like this, it was great to feel the creepy. It did bring that. You have that feeling in here. And I think it's because there's a lot of tension-building moments in this film. James Wan does do well in, in percolating that tension a little more than we've seen in many of the other modern big-screen horror films. Uh, so I, I give him props there. There are a number of times where you're holding your breath and you, you really are, like, getting tense. But at the same time... There were parts where I wish they wouldn't use so much music, okay? Tension-building moments were great, but when the moment would start, they kind of used this louder-than-usual uh, music, and I don't know if maybe it was the theater I was in, but that kind of took me away from the tense moment. I would have liked no soundtrack for some of these uh, creepy scenes that were going on. Just just no music behind it. Keep it natural, because that, to me, brings it a little bit more creepy. So... It took away a little bit from some of the scenes, but overall, there are many tension-building moments which you'll enjoy. And I'll tell you, it probably came up with one of the better horror shticks I've seen in a while that was so simple and yet uh, very effective. And that's the double clap. You know, you've seen it in the trailer. Definitely an effective tool in bringing the creepy and the scares to the audience that I was sitting in. And I'll tell you that when I got home and everything got quiet, I was almost kind of on edge waiting to hear that clap. Okay, so they... they build that very well and hook you with that. So props there. I love the practical effects in The Conjuring. Used a lot of them, a lot more than we've seen in most modern horror widescreen, uh, big screen films. So that's also a plus column there. Really enjoyed that. The performances are great. You got Vera Farmiga in here, Patrick Wilson, Lily Taylor, Ron Livingston. All do very well as their respective characters. And the kids do fantastically uh, in this. In the material that they've got and uh, adding creepy in that, I really Really loved their performances. Everybody putting their all into it, and it comes across the screen as authentic. You buy in that Ver Vera Firminga is Lorraine Warren and Patrick Wilson's Ed Warren. You buy into their characters, and I really liked their characters as well. Made me want to read more up on the Warrens, who do have documented evidence of demonic possession, of hauntings, which is what they base the script on, which is probably what helps make this film even more creepy. The fact that this is based on true hard evidence that the Warrens have, okay? Uh, so it definitely adds a little bit more creepy factor there. In fact, I suggest you read up a little bit on the Warrens before watching the film. Now, the story does divide between the Warrens and the Perones as far as focusing on their families. And for me, while I did enjoy that, I almost kind of wish they would have focused more on one than the other. And they kind of give more equal time to both. Uh, because they are both affected by this event, but I just would have liked to see maybe a little more focus on one than the other, because my uh, feelings were a little bit divided amongst uh, the people, you know, of getting invested in them and seeing what good or bad things happen to them. So, I will say that there were a lot of characters in this film to follow, and uh, it was kind of hard to just wrap your arms around a few of them, which I, I kind of like to do in a horror film. So, a little bit spread out there which took a little bit away from, you know, how strong I could feel towards the other characters. Now, also, the only other thing that really got me with The Conjuring was the digital look. This is set in the 70s, which is fantastic. A period piece. Everything looked authentic, from the cars to the costumes to the clocks. 
but it was shot digitally and there were some scenes in here that really looked video to me. It's not found footage film, but it definitely had that feel and that look in some of the scenes. Now, I don't know if it was the theater I was in or maybe uh, just, in, you know, the fact that I was sitting farther away from the screen, but definitely had that digital video look to it rather than film look, and it kind of took me away from the experience. I'd just get into it, and then it'd do kind of this thing with the camera, and I could tell it was just... I'm not sure if it was an effect intentional or again the screen I was watching it on but it did take me a bit out of the film but I still gave it four stubs okay four stubs because I think it is one of the better wide uh, released horror films that have come out now I did get more creeped out by mama than I did here but then again I've seen a lot of horror films I don't know I just mama for the most part up until the last 10 minutes creeped me out a little more than this film but I still enjoyed The Conjuring and I think you will too and that'll about do it for us here at the final cut till next time keep that ticket stuff